In today's video, we're going to break down two differences between two incredible breeds, the Staffy and the Pitbull. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So if you're a lifelong lover of the Staffy, thinking about getting one yourself or have just started your own journey with your new Staffy puppy, well, this is the channel for you. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload right here. And today we're going to take a look into what really separates the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the American Pit Bull Terrier. In many ways, they're quite similar breeds, so I've broken down a few differences and highlighted some major points. Not only will we compare the origins of these fascinating bully breeds, but also we will delve into their looks, their intelligence and trainability, their temperament as well as their exercise requirements and grooming requirements. The ancestor of both breeds is none other than the fearsome old English Bulldog, bred to boldly attack and kill raging bulls and even bears for sport, these now extinct dogs are not to be confused with the gentle, mellow English Bulldog that we know today. In the early 19th century, breeders aimed to create a fighting dog that would be ferocious in battle as the Bulldog, but smaller and more agile. They also aimed for a dog that would be fierce whilst fighting, but gentle and friendly to humans. To achieve this, these early English breeders crossed terriers and bulldogs. In the years to come, they shaped the new breed into what we know today as the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. As we said before, and contrary to its name, the American Pit Bull Terrier also originates from England. As these dogs had been bred to fight, the early Americans discovered their natural attribute to various roles. Apart from being highly effective guard dogs, they were also used as hunting companions and livestock guardians. Since then, the American Bulldog Terrier has become its own individual breed and recognised by the United Kennel Club. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. When it comes to their looks, the Staffy and the Pitbull can be difficult to tell apart. However, when you know what you're looking for, you will be able to see which one is which quite easily. Let's begin with their overall appearance. Both dogs have very muscular bodies, broad heads with prominent cheekbones, rosebud ears and rather thin whip-like tails. However, Staffies are considerably smaller and lighter than Pitbulls, whilst being more compact and stocky. Adult male Staffies can stand between 36 to 41 centimetres high and weigh between 13 to 17 kg, with the females being slightly smaller. Male pit bulls can reach between 45 to 53 centimetres and weigh between 16 to 18 kg, again with the females being slightly smaller. Now it's getting even more interesting as we're coming to the intelligence and trainability of these breeds. And right away we can say both breeds are highly intelligent and trainable. These dogs absolutely love to work and are a pure pleasure to work with. They always strive to please their owners, which of course is a wonderful trait that makes them living and working with such an enjoyable experience. However, there are slight differences in the trainability of both these breeds, with the pit bull being slightly more difficult to teach, which is due to its tendency to be slightly stubborn at some times. Also, the pit bull has an extremely high prey drive, which again can make training more challenging. 
in all likelihood, many accidents and even tragedies that we hear about in connection with the pit bulls could have been avoided if only their owners had taken the time to train and socialize them. Despite their fearsome reputation, pit bulls are actually quite sensitive dogs, as many handlers and owners will agree with. Whilst you can easily teach them high levels of obedience and guardian work, heavy-handed methods will get you nowhere. A gentle, patient approach usually is best. Both Staffies and Pit Bulls are excellent family dogs who are absolutely devoted to the ones they love. By nature, these highly social breeds are deeply loyal, kind-hearted and friendly to humans, even to strangers. Of course, they do need lots of socialization in order to become the perfect canine companion that we want them to be. Whilst both do quite well with children, the Staffy outshines the pit bull when it comes to naturally loving children and being extraordinarily patient with them. These gentle, deeply affectionate dogs are so attached to their owners that really they need to be living inside with them. If they live outside on their own, it can cause them quite considerable emotional suffering. In their exercise and grooming requirements, the Staffy and the Pitbull are as good as equal. The Pitbull requiring much more activity and exercise front, which is due to their high energy levels and prey drive. The Staffy no doubt loves to go out on walks and enjoys a play session with you several times a day. However, one or two hours of exercise a day is usually enough for them as they're more of the chilled out breed that we're comparing today. Staffies are more laid back and can relax on the couch for hours and are always up for a cuddle. If you have a pit bull on your hands, however, you will not get away with it that easily. Normal walks and low key play are nowhere near enough to satisfy their needs with their working muscles. So how do you ensure you provide your pit bull with sufficient physical and mental stimulation? This is a good question to ask yourself before bringing a pit bull into your house as they are prone to chewing when they're bored. And you will be surprised how much havoc these powerful jaws can wreck people's possessions. Within a few short hours, a pit bull can easily rip apart perfectly good dog beds, duvets and sofas. Of course, carpets, door frames, window sills and even indoor shutters can easily suffer the same fate. In terms of grooming requirements, both breeds are as low maintenance as it gets. Their short, tight coats hardly accumulate any dust or dirt, even if the dog spends loads of time outside. As well, they barely shed. That is, of course, outside of shedding season, which occurs every spring and autumn. For these reasons, both breeds hardly require any brushing at all to stay clean. A good weekly once-over with a mitt or natural soft bristle brush is more than sufficient. And this brings us to the end of our discussion of these two stunning bully breeds who have many wonderful characteristics in common. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved in the comments down below. Let us know what you think is better, a Staffy or a Pitbull. So I can't wait to see you again here on the Fenrir Staffy Show.